hey fellas, welcome to part four of Hobby Boss's 118th scale Harrier build. In this exciting episode, I finished up the cockpit. Woo, yeah! <laughs> I, was, I was really putting this thing off because, oh, this cockpit is just so horrible and lacking detail, but I put some detail in it. Look at that. Oh. So, uh, in this episode, I, I focus mainly on uh, the instrument panels and adding some knobs and switches and stuff to, uh, to detail this out. And uh, so there we go, and no more of this darn cockpit. Now I do have to uh, detail out the canopy on the inside and, and uh, do all that kind of stuff, but uh, uh, the majority of the work on the cockpit is done in this episode. So uh, let's get on with the video. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got going on. Now the owner wanted the steps down, and what I should have done is cut out the little steps that were molded into the plastic before I added the interior parts. And I didn't think ahead, I should have thought about it. Actually, I did think about it and then I forgot and went ahead and got in a hurry and put all the, uh, the detailing and stuff on the inside of the wall here when I should have cut these out first, but I didn't. So what I ended up doing was just cutting out the, the uh, taking a Dremel and Dremel it out about halfway through the plastic and then inserting a piece of plastic card that I had cut out in the shape of the steps. So I caused myself a little bit of extra work, but that's okay. That kind of, that, that happens sometimes. So then I've got the little steps that I cut out and I'll be able to paint these separately and at the end, the owner can just glue these in just like that. So if you're gonna have the steps open, I would recommend uh, just cutting those out of the molded area of the plastic filing it out and then uh, putting a piece of plastic card on the inside to uh, to fill in the holes on the inside but is what it is so I've got both of the interior pieces interior walls all detailed out I added a little bit of wiring over here uh, I may add some more over here based on some pictures but uh, what we're gonna tackle next is the cockpit and I've been just slowly working on this and here's what I've got now, I think I've shown this before in the other video, but I did cut off all the all the raised detail that was on the back that was it was just really plain and simple. I also cut off all the little knobs that they had. They were just, you know, little bitty knobs. There wasn't much detail to it. Uh, and then I came back with plastic card and some other little greeblies and created uh, what you see here. I've also obviously added some wire in the background so it looks a lot better in my opinion than what it did before. Now it kind of looks like a mess because I've got a hodgepodge of different colors, the white and the, all my marks and stuff, but I think once I get a coat of primer on it um, I think this is gonna look really really cool. So uh, and most of this is just using plastic card and you know just whatever I could find and for this little handle I've got a copper rod and some uh, uh, aluminum tubing. How I'm going to do, or how I did the the uh, control panels here on the side, we're going to go through that for the other side. So what I've got is I've got a piece of point, I think it was zero two millimeter plastic card, and I'm going to go ahead, I've cut it out to shape, so all I need to do is fit it on here, just like so. And this is going to represent those black panels. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get my scriber out. And I'm going to, I, I drew out how I want this laid out, just kind of roughly with a pencil. And now I'm going to scribe some lines to, to, uh, to demarcate my panel lines in this little panel piece. I'm going to try to do this on camera. It's not, not going to be the easiest, but we'll get, it, we'll get through it been a while since I made a video so I'm not real used to talking so I'm gonna make some talking errors I'm gonna call things that uh, I don't know I'll just shut up I'm kind of tired too so all right so I'm just gonna lay out my dymo tape and I'm just gonna come along here and score some panel lines and that way when I go to paint it I'll paint these black and then I'll come back with a light gray wash 
and just put the light gray wash in the panel lines to show some demarcation. And it's gonna be as simple as that. Then once I get these scribed in, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start drilling holes for the little switches. And that, this may not be the best way to do it or the cleanest way, but I think it's probably the simplest way. And it's gonna, it's, and like I said, it's gonna be a lot better than what we had before. And it may not be 100% accurate what I got laid out here, but I think it's gonna be relatively close. And for our purposes, I think it will look pretty good. But obviously you could go as, uh, try to be as accurate as you want. But we all know that accuracy is not my forte. So I'm gonna get to scribing the rest of these panel lines and then we'll come back and I'll drill my holes and I'll show you how I do that and then make my switches. All right, what I wanna do next is I wanna create these little switches that I've got here. And I've already got some, but for those of you uh, new guys to modeling, I'll show you how to do this. Uh, if you're not familiar with stretching sprue, well, you're in luck because you get to see the expert. Well, I'm not an expert, I'm just kidding. I'm not very good at this, but I'll show you how I do it. So I light a candle, and I like to use a candle rather than just a lighter, and because uh, I can use two hands that way. And uh, I cut off a piece of sprue from, this one's from a Tamiya kit. I just cut off a section, and I'm gonna slowly heat this up and melt it. Now obviously you don't wanna catch it on fire, but you do wanna melt it and get it really soft. And you'll be able to see it once it starts to heat up and melt, it'll start to bend and, and uh, deform. So I'm just rotating it. I'm trying to get a nice even heat. I really want this nice and soft and heated. Okay, and then you just stretch it, just like so. Now you'll be able to feel the tension. If you pull it too hard, it's gonna, it's gonna snap, but you'll be able to feel that tension. And then this is gonna get you your, uh, your nice stretch sprue, and then you let it harden up. Just hold it, and there you go. And you can use these for antennas or wires or all kinds of things, so it's as simple as that. Blow this candle out, get that out of here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making these switches. I've already got some right here. That might be a little too thin. So I'm gonna take my X-Acto blade. And I don't know if the camera will be able to pick this up. I'm just gonna come along here and try to make little bitty switches. Just like that. And I'll come along and I'll put it right next to the other one. And you could actually like lay down tape and, and cut these a little more even, but I'm not one to go to that much trouble. Now I put my finger over it because if you don't, what tends to happen is your little piece will go shooting off. Well, that one didn't. That one didn't either. Huh, interesting. So I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these little pieces. That one shot off, see that? Now if you don't get these exactly even, or the, uh, equal in length, you can come back after you glue them in and trim them with a sharp pair of small scissors to even them up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a bunch of these. And it's always nice to just take a, a 
little bottle cap here and then I can put my little pieces in here and they're really kind of hard to see and they stick to your hand but there we go and I will make a bunch of these and then I'm gonna come along and everywhere I put a little dot I'm gonna take my drill bit and I'm just gonna drill a hole where I'm gonna insert these because you want you can glue these straight to the plastic but they tend to fall off a lot easier they just don't glue as well and it's a lot easier just to insert these into the hole first and then put some to me extra thin down than it is to put some extra thin down and then try to put these on because it just gets to be a pain in the butt so it's always better just to drill a hole so i will go around drill all these holes cut the rest of my uh little switches and then we'll come back and uh, start gluing them up okay so i've got my holes drilled i've got all my little switches cut out and i, I went ahead and glued this on to the uh, the cockpit tub and the reason that I'm doing that is because once I get those little switches on it's gonna be really hard to handle this so uh, I just went ahead and glued it on there so I don't have to handle this little uh, my panels anymore uh, I'm gonna start with the bigger buttons or the bigger sw bigger uh, I guess um, knobs and what I've done is I've just taken a piece of now this isn't stretch sprue, this is a piece of a, a spare ladder that I had. And, and the reason I, I did this instead of when uh, using stretch sprue is because when you stretch the sprue, it's kind of hard to get a consistent thickness. It does taper uh, ever so slightly. So if I just use this piece, then I can get uh, the same diameter with each little cut. So I just cut off little sections of this. And I've got my knobs already drawn out here so i'm just going to use a little bit of to me extra thin quick setting and i'm going to take one of my little knobs and then just stick it on here with the tip of my knife hold it down and it should stick there we go a little bit more this quick setting stuff dries really quick You do have a little bit of time to maneuver them. Now, one thing you can do to make the knobs uh, really pop out is I'm going to take some of my stretch sprue, my real thin stuff, and I'll use this piece. And I'm going to cut off a little bitty section. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm just going to cut out a, just a slightly smaller section than I did my switches. And, yeah, I want something a little bit longer than that. Something like that. Okay. And then I'll come along on the top of my knob. And I'll put some, to me, extra thin. And then I'll take my knife and pick up my piece. And then I can lay it on top of my knob. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? And then it will add a little bit extra raised detail, like it's a, one of the turn knobs with the thing on top. Go ahead and do another one. Uh, I just turned 45, so I don't know how much longer my, uh, my hands and my eyes are going to be able to to deal with stuff this small, but hopefully a while. But this is really delicate work for me. Okay, just like that. Now I'll go ahead and get to uh, putting the rest of my knobs on and then we'll tackle the switches. Okay, so now I've just dumped out my switches here on my table. And these, you make more than what you need because they do tend to shoot off when you go to pick them up. And I'm just going to insert these in the holes. If I can. 
Now I drilled the holes to where they would be pretty tight with the diameter of my switches, so I do have to force them down. Just uh, see, it? there's one that shot off. If you don't have patience, this might not be for you. Just like so. And again, the reason I drilled the holes rather than just try to glue these on because this just helps helps them stay in place a lot better than just gluing them straight to the plastic without a hole. Darn it. I'm going to end up having to make some more of these. And then I can straighten them up so they aren't crooked before I glue them. Darn it. Need to get me a good set of tweezers. Losing about half of these. Okay, the last one for this section. Straighten it up. Okay, now I'm just going to take my Tamiya Extra Thin and then just run it along here. And get these glued in. And that's all there is to it. So I'll get the glue in the rest of them and then uh, I'll get it in primer and show you what it looks like in primer. I'll probably prime it in black so um, I may throw some primer on it then throw my gray paint down just so you can it, it'll show up a little bit better. So that's how I make the switches and the knobs. Uh, I'm finally done with it, fellas. And it's not that it took a lot of time. I just kind of stretched it out because I was busy doing other things. But uh, you know, it's it's there was just so much stuff to add. It I was almost kind of dreading it and putting it off. But I'm really happy with the final result. Um, it's not perfect. It's not 100% accurate. But I think it, it looks. It looks pretty good, and cockpits aren't really my forte, to be honest with you. I'm, I always, I, a lot of my planes are in flight with a closed canopy, so I don't typically spend a lot of time on the inside of the, uh, the my models, but, because uh, I don't think I, you get a lot out of it, especially the way I build them. But with this one, the canopy is going to be open, so, um, ah, dropping stuff. So there's going to be a lot more scene, plus it's a lot bigger model. So uh, here's, I did, uh, I did take care of a few issues with the instrument panel, and I like it a little better. I uh, added the, I added some uh, different decals for the, for the gauges there, and glossed those over. I also uh, added some uh, clear blue Tamiya over the uh, screens up here. And uh, just kind of, I don't know, I touched up a few other things and it does, it does look a lot, a little bit better. I'm a little bit more happy with it than what I was when I left off. So uh, we'll go ahead and peel this off so you can get a good idea of what we got going on here. And pull my 
my ejection seat, man. I just think that looks so cool in there. Uh, it's morning, so my allergies are making my nose a little stuffy, fellas. There we go. That's what it looks like. Now, I did add a few little decals uh, here and there that uh, I was rummaging through my, my spare decals, which I have a ton of them. And uh, I just added a few little decals. I assume this thing up here is a battery box that I put in. I put some decals up on it. Uh, a few little decals here on the, uh, the instrument panels, like right here. And right there, added a little bit of flare. Now, <clears throat> when I painted the uh, the panels, above each one of the little dials and switches, I just put a couple little white dots with a paintbrush. To, uh, because, you know, when you look in a cockpit, there's always all the, uh, the, the, the white lettering and stuff that tell you what the, <laughs> I guess what the thing does. But, uh, so I added those, and uh, I'm just really happy with how that turned out, so... Uh, I'm not sure what's next with this build. I'm not sure. I got to look at the instructions. Like I said, I wanted to get this done and I came back from vacation and just went ahead and knocked it all out. So, um, I'll flash up some pictures and, uh, we'll see you on the next episode, whatever that is going to be about.